Once again, yes, uh, I just have to say that this hair right here is uh, the quarantine cut. You know, it uh, it's world famous by now. There are plenty of memes about it. And uh, I never thought that I would give myself one, but here we are <laughs> and uh, I have one. Yeah, um, it's, it's, it fits the year. It fits the year, it fits the time, it fits everything that's going on. Uh, 2020 has been a dog. <laughs> and uh, it's not like you know a, a cute golden retriever or something like that. This is like uh, this is like a basset hound with fleas and it smells. Uh, <laughs> that's what 2020 is. Uh, we just you know Chadwick Boseman passed just the other day, and it's it, it it feels like the cherry on top of a of a terrible Sunday. You know, uh, Chadwick Boseman you know went through this whole thing. Uh, very privately and no one knew until he had passed away or at least you know the general public didn't know until he passed away and it just it, it hits that much harder because he is tied to a film series that has provided uh, hope and uh, and heart for, for for many people you know he he fulfilled a lot of people's fantasies uh, derived from from famed comic series and really provided representation uh, to black superheroes in one of the first uh, prominent and mainstream ways that, you know, really catapulted um, to just becoming a household name. And he was someone that, in, you look in interviews, you look at uh, just the type of person he was in general, what people said about him while he was alive. He was a great guy. He was a wonderful human being. And to see him going through this, uh, this battle uh, with an unrelenting illness for all this time while he was carrying out his biggest roles. Um, it's incredible. And, and the fact that he was in a Spike Lee movie, too, that was you know filmed in part on, on, on some pretty uh, humid and, and probably tough to be at locations when you're, when you're dealing with that kind of illness. And it's just it's incredible the body of work he was able to make, you know, just blockbuster after blockbuster and, and, make, and giving in good performances as well. Um, I think he just illustrates the kind of person we should all want to be and try to be. Um, you know, people complain about all kinds of things. I complain about all kinds of things. And uh, sometimes it feels like chicken little, you know, the world is falling down around us, but he dealt with this illness for all these years, you know, four years of, of going through surgeries and chemotherapy and a number of other things. And he was still going to work. He was still training for roles. He was still, exercising and just doing doing everything to make himself better to prepare for roles and just it's incredible it's incredible and we should strive to be like that we should strive to lift ourselves above whatever perceived struggles we have and to press forward because if we stop if we sit and we wallow in whatever we have going on we won't get anywhere, we won't accomplish anything and we'll shut down and we'll just feel misery. You have to be able to appreciate even the most ugly days uh, because the ugly days are a part of life too. And it's important to accept and acknowledge all of it. You know, you can't have purely good days. You can't, you know, do the same thing every single day that you love. Uh, you have to put work in, you have to put effort in, you have to do some unpleasant things and uh, 2020 is one of those times.